We're here with Daniel Bernard, who's CrowdStrike's chief business officer and leads the company's channel alliances and partnership efforts and the go-to-market strategy for the all-important SMB segment. And he's joined by Rahul Tiku, who is the senior vice president and general manager of the client product group at Dell, the company's largest line of business. Gents, welcome. Good to see you. Great to be here, Dave. Good to see you, too. Guys, I've been really excited to have this conversation, Daniel, since we last talked at Falcon, uh, CrowdStrike's annual customer event. The small and mid-sized business sector, it's so important. They struggle to protect their employees, their customers, and their data from cyber attacks, and they don't have the resources necessarily to do that. So when I found out about the Dell CrowdStrike Alliance, I was really intrigued. It's evolving. Daniel, what was the genesis of this partnership? How did it all come about? Well, the partnership with Dell is really a special go-to-market effort for us. If you look at Dell, roughly one-third of the PC market, some years more, uh, and, and really an enterprise leader and a leader in all segments of uh, customers, where do customers start their cybersecurity journey? It starts on the endpoint. So coupling these technologies together, the best computing devices and user compute in the market with the very best cybersecurity in the market, it just makes sense. Maybe you guys could each talk about the motivation for Dell and CrowdStrike, you know, forming this partnership. How do the respective strengths of each company sort of better serve customers? Ro, Ro, maybe you could go first and then Daniel, you can chime in. Yeah, no, thank you for that question. And, uh, you know, the way I think about this is the world has become a lot more hybrid, sort of how we're working uh, right now, right? People are working, playing, learning from it anywhere, anytime. And uh, data also tells us, like Daniel was saying, 90% of the breaches are happening at the endpoint. And so as we're designing solutions to block and respond to threats wherever they occur, whether it's on the device, the network, or the cloud environments that we work in, you know, at Dell, we're delivering industry's most secure commercial PCs that's sort of foundational, that's built on top of our secure supply chain offers, hardware security using Intel Vpro. Uh, authentication uh, security using Safe ID, you know, hardware BIOS security uh, feature called Safe BIOS, and it was only natural that with CrowdStrike we're able to now equip customers with extensive threat management capabilities, you know, that extend above the OS and integrate all of these uh, security features into a single pane of glass that our customers can use. So we're really excited about this partnership. Anything you'd add to that, Daniel? Just to add to Raul's comment, I think when you start moving down market, the buyer for cybersecurity in many cases is the same buyer for end user compute. So we're able to solve these problems together, uh, bringing not only the best devices to this to these businesses, but also cybersecurity that works, cybersecurity that is powered by AI, cybersecurity that stops the breach. The market knows Dell uh, and knows Dell's leadership position. The market also knows CrowdStrike. And so I think what's special about this is we're bringing two of the leading brands, the brands that customers want to the forefront and the tech works together and it's easy to buy. So it's a pretty val it's a pretty powerful value proposition for the customer. So I, I wanna dig in a little bit into the specifics of the Alliance for SMBs. What are some of the particulars uh, in terms of what organizations can expect when they're working with Dell and CrowdStrike? Ro, specifically, what's in it for the SMB customer? Yeah, so we announced the addition of the CrowdStrike Falcon platform to our Dell Safeguard and Response portfolio back in March. Uh, our Safeguard and Response portfolio is comprised of a suite of solutions that are designed to prevent, detect, respond, and remediate uh, attacks uh, in all sizes of organizations globally. Um, you know, like Daniel was saying, CrowdStrike Falcon platform is an industry-leading cloud-native platform, and we're really pleased to offer uh, this solution to our customers. So, you know, we've expanded, we've broadened our safeguard response portfolio. We're building uh, on our best in class and scalable solutions and uh, helping these small, medium businesses and their journey to zero trust architecture. Another great uh, thing that CrowdStrike brings to the plate is that it's FedRAM authorized, right? So, if you think about this, this is the level of authorization required. Uh, for defense contracts. So really, really excited. And, um, you know, we're, we're ramping this uh, set of offers for our customers jointly. So obviously, Daniel, this, I mean, you've 
you're in charge of routes to market for SMB. I mean, this is a huge uh, uptick in, in that channel. Um, maybe you could talk a little bit about sort of what that entails from your perspective, sort of what this brings to the, to the SMB. Sure. And I think it's important to note, Dave, that this is really a cross-segment endeavor. Like Rahul was saying, the world's largest and leading enterprises, they purchase from Dell. And so our technology is fit for purpose for them. Uh, the Falcon platform is offered to these customers um, and that the entirety of the platform through Dell. Then you have medium enterprises where it, it's, it's fit for purpose. What we're doing scales so nicely across the stack. There's the critical missions for government um, that we work together on uh, doing transformational work to bring leading cybersecurity to Dell customers and federal agencies. Then if you think back to your question, Dave, the SMB market, this is where making it extremely easy to buy matters uh, and positioning and making sure we're in front of the customer at the right time matters. Uh, and that's where what we're doing together on the box is so powerful, uh, helping Dell customers at the point of sale as they're buying their PC that they're going to use for the next three or five years making sure that PC is fortified with the right security. And so we have a very compelling offer together with Dell, uh, where we start a Falcon platform journey with those customers, leveraging our best in breed AI native technology so that organizations, many small and medium businesses can not only detect and respond, but also prevent attacks before they even occur. And if you think about the scale of Dell worldwide, um, it's, a, it, it's a really a huge market. The long tail of SMBs uh, over 50 million SMBs in the world. Um, so Dell becomes a meaningful force multiplier for our business in, 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 this, in this area. Can you just comment on the, what the response has been in, in the marketplace? Um, are there any success stories that kind of demonstrate the you know, advantages or better customer outcomes? What kind of you know, evidence do you have that this is, sure. uh, this is working? Well, first, this is a global partnership. So I think it's really, uh, exciting that off the bat, we've sold in every major operating continent, uh, large deals, uh, as well as scale deals through SMB. We've worked together on healthcare providers. We've worked together in the federal space. Um, we're seeing great commercial momentum across every segment. And then um, launching the on-the-box offering, we're seeing significant attach rates there already. So what I'm really excited about is what our sellers hear in the field and what they hear is their Dell colleagues and peers calling them up saying that there's customer demand. We're seeing pipeline grow, we're seeing the sales results grow um, and, and everything is ahead of our expectations. So we're, we're off to the races. There's still so much more in this partnership that we can do um, that we have on the roadmap in terms of new offerings and new capabilities, but off the bat, um, global representation, global scale, global reach, and adoption across every customer segment that we're serving together. Yeah, thank you for that, Daniel. Ro, maybe you could ad address it as well. I I'm curious as to, you know, are, are there typical use cases that stand out? I mean, Daniel mentioned a number of sort of industry applications. Uh, and, and how complicated is it for a, an SMB customer to actually adopt? Yeah, no, I, I think, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a tech geek at heart, so I want to geek out a little bit. and sort of demonstrate to you how one plus one plus one in this case is not a three, but, but an 11. Uh, you know, we uh, have been working very closely with CrowdStrike and Intel. And it's not just taking CrowdStrike's uh, off-the-shelf solution and offering it to our customers. It's really a very tight relationship where Dell, Intel, and CrowdStrike are integrating our solutions together. Right. So I'll give you a few examples of that. Right. First, you know, we're leveraging our secure commercial PC heritage. Right. Dell has a bunch of built in protections that uh, our competitors can't match, whether it's off post BIOS and firmware verification, whether it's indicators of attack that allow us to detect uh, uh, attacks in motion, whether it's hardware based uh, user authentication, uh, secure supply chain, secure component verification. And then you know, our solution also has all the hardware telemetry that we can make available to or remake available to the CrowdStrike Falcon platform, where, you know, uh, we are probably one of the very few, if not the only PC manufacturer that's taking all this below the OS hardware security and integrating it into CrowdStrike's console. Second, you know, when you think about Intel, Intel has a set of protections too, 
that both Dell and CrowdStrike are leveraging. So Dell commercial PCs uh, were harnessing a bunch of Intel's WePro protections. Uh, think of, uh, you know, some of the below the OS Intel features like Intel Hardware Shield, Intel BIOS Guard, Intel Boot Guard. Uh, all of these things are leveraged as a part of our uh, below the OS security suite. And we're also doing secure outpost firmware verification for the Intel management engine. For the second set of protections, Intel has this technology called threat detection technology uh, that's leveraging their integrated GPU, uh, which is available on most Intel client platforms, uh, to do critical memory scanning functionality. And CrowdStrike is using this advanced memory scanning to find suspected malware uh, in memory to detect fileless attacks. Uh, not only that, and as you sort now think about CrowdStrike in the software layer, we just talked about advanced memory scanning. But CrowdStrike also had hardware and has exploit detection, which looks for other similar memories, exploitations. Uh, there are also device level security and notifications where CrowdStrike's console is integrating all of the great telemetry that Dell and Intel are providing to make it truly an insights based single pane of glass that uh, organizations of any size can leverage, right? So I think that's very unique, right? I don't want you to be with. Hey, uh, it's just the CrowdStrike Falcon offer. It's really the partnership and how we're bringing the value of one plus one plus one equal to much greater than the sum of the parts, uh, which is very important for our customers. And they don't have to do anything. They just buy the Dell commercial PC with the CrowdStrike offer and Intel vPro CPUs to get all of these protections. I really appreciate that because this is more than just a go-to-market press release. It's a you know, deeper integration into the silicon, you're exploiting the silicon, all through the hardware stack, and its integration with the, the CrowdStrike software. So I appreciate that, that nuance there. And I, I don't really have to do anything, I just get it. It's Intel and CrowdStrike inside. Um, Daniel, I want to ask you, differences between S and M, um, small and mid, I mean. Um, it's, it's so, you know, a lot of times the mid-sized companies, they don't necessarily have the, maybe a detail, a big sock, uh, they might not even have a sock, but they got more resources than the small companies. Do you, can you share with the audience the differences there and how they might think about security, you know, generally uh, for those different constituencies? Sure. The first thing, Dave, is that everybody's thinking about cybersecurity. Companies that are super small, medium-sized, large, this is a top priority from an IT spend perspective. So that's what unites them all. Everybody is prone to the breach uh, and ransomware and malware, they don't discriminate between business size. They're out to get everybody uh, for financial gain and more. So that's what that, that's the big problem statement that unites all these folks together. But how they operate cybersecurity is very different. If you go down to the S of SMB, there may not even be anybody operating IT, let alone cybersecurity. You ask them what a SOC is, and they're going to tell you they wear socks. They don't know what a security operations center is. So making cybersecurity that just works, that is easy to deploy, to, uh, easy to configure with just a click, that's super important. And if you look at offerings that we have on the market like Falcon Go, it really personifies and brings to, brings to light that use case of a prosumer style application um, that just works. As you go up to medium enterprises, that's where use cases like EDR start to become much more prevalent, where you need prevention, you need detection and response. You start to talk about securing identity, securing the cloud, um, understanding data protection as well. Uh, and this is really where the power of the Falcon platform comes to bear, where you start with one use case and you can grow to others without having to deploy any new software. And of course, no hardware in our business. Um, Dell makes all the great hardware for that. So that really starts to speak to some of the differences. The other thing that I'd like to cover, Dave, and mention is half of the market or close to it is still using legacy AV. And if you go to the large enterprises, they know legacy AV doesn't work. Signatures don't work. Reactive cybersecurity doesn't work. Businesses of all sizes need something better, need something proactive, need something AI driven. And just as the digital transformation that we've all seen in every other aspect of business has occurred, that is the transformation that together Dell, CrowdStrike, and like Rahul was saying, Intel, that is what we're bringing to light for businesses of all sizes. It has to be easy. We have to meet them where they are. Dell helps us do that. 
and it has to also be the right technology for the right market segment. So back to the little S that just needs something that's one click that works, and then you go up to the medium enterprise and the needs start to become a little bit more bespoke, more visibility, um, as well as more automation around remediation. These are all capabilities that you can get natively on the Falcon platform. I'm glad you mentioned that, Daniel, because when I, when I really started getting into following CrowdStrike, you know, I, I was lulled into this state of complacency thinking my antivirus was taking care of me at my, at my end point. And it's, it's clearly not, things have changed. I want to um, make an observation and then ask you guys uh, uh, to comment. Uh, so as we entered the COVID, we saw obviously big uptick in need for laptops and we saw the ascendancy of CrowdStrike in a big way as we had to you know, protect remote workers. And then as we exited the isolation economy, obviously PC demand you know, ebbs and flows, uh, but we saw this trend, this, the premise of navigating the road to cyber resiliency in this summit is that the, the worlds of data protection, backup, recovery, et cetera, and cybersecurity were, were kind of an adjacency. And now we see them throughout the year really getting smashed together in a big way. Do you see that? Uh, do you see data protection as a fundamental component of whether you call it zero trust architectures or frameworks? Uh, do you guys see that, Raul? Maybe you could comment. And Daniel, I don't know if you have anything to add. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think um, I can start by saying that if you sort of think about what has happened in the world, um, you know, the attack vectors have changed and the attack surface has increased, right? The data is sort of the new oil mm -hmm. and you know, data protection, like you said, is key to uh, any industry. It's key to protecting IP in any industry. So we're seeing a couple of different things, right? Uh, first, we're seeing fileless malware is now the dominant execution method for cyber attacks, right? So uh, when you think about what Daniel was saying previously, uh, these attacks evade legacy EDR software uh, protections. So you cannot depend on legacy EDR protection. So, you know, with CrowdStrike and HEED, which is the hardware enhanced exploit detection that I talked about that works on the basis of the underlying element tree, uh, CrowdStrike has really reimagined how to stop these fileless attempts uh, by using accelerated memory scanning algorithms, right? That's really unique in what we're providing in the platform to protect uh, these attacks. Second, what we're seeing is firmware attacks um, are also becoming prevalent. Uh, there was some industry research conducted by Futurum uh, during the pandemic, and 44% of the organizations reported at least one hardware level or bias level attack in calendar year 2020. And so when you think about that, and that you know, the built-in bias and firmware protections of most uh, Intel management engine firmware education, and then exposure of all of that to CrowdStrike single pane of glass, you're able to really get underneath those attacks and control that, right? And so in the end, when we think about key customer benefits, really what we're doing is reducing the attack surface significantly, uh, improving the threat detection that uh, together CrowdStrike, Dell, and Intel, whether the uh, technologies are bringing together, uh, and are setting up this whole idea of zero trust, right? Uh, organizations are now better positioned to maintain uh, policy compliance, device trust, uh, as you sort of progress in that zero trust journey. Uh, given that most of the threats are starting at the end point, having secure devices sort of becomes foundational in uh, a zero trust world. And then finally, optimizing security investments, right? Because there's a lot of different tools that our customers can choose. Right, but in this particular case, they can actually bring a lot of their investments together into the commercial PCs, Intel vPro, uh, Silicon, and CrowdStrike as the uh, XDR platform of choice to be able to really optimize and get the full protection that they need. Great. Daniel, I don't think you had anything else you wanted to add to that. No, Rahul, you said it very nicely. Uh, I'll just add from a business and market perspective, really what's going on, the, the operative term of the day is consolidation. It's not just between data security 
and endpoint security. It's really a wholesale consolidation that's going on in cybersecurity. If you look at cybersecurity today, there's over 3,000 cybersecurity technology companies out there. And customers are saying, I'm looking for a platform. I'm looking for a platform that will help me solve multiple problems with a single form, form factor that will allow me to consolidate my spend, that will allow me to get more output for the same inputs um, that are looking ultimately and most importantly to stop the breach. And I think what really differentiates CrowdStrike in this market is we were built for this consolidation wave that's happening right now. We've got 27 modules on the platform. We disrupt multiple categories of cybersecurity and we, bl we blend them together so that the customer has a single pane of glass and can manage end to end, whether it's EDR, XDR, identity threat detection response, cloud security, uh, also use cases like Falcon for IT, where we're replacing endpoint management technologies, hygiene and compliance technologies. So the space is really littered with a lot of vendors and a lot of different point products and tying those things together into a platform is really important. Part of that consolidation also is a go-to-market consolidation where customers are looking to solution providers like Dell to say, you're making great devices, help me keep that device secure saves them a conversation with another vendor later or multiple vendors later. So the operative term of the day is really consolidation. And I think we are driving consolidated outcomes, but we're also changing the way that we bring the software to market and that Dell brings um, cybersecurity to market by partnering together, bringing customers best of breed technologies, having it pre-integrated, getting our customers out of the integration business, uh, taking care of that for them and working with trusted industry partners like Intel. It all comes together nicely and lands in the lap so that it's plug and play. You got to simplify in this day and age, guys. We're out of time, but such a good conversation it flies by. Uh, one last question for each of you. When you look ahead, you know, how do you envision the collaboration uh, between your two companies evolving uh, to stay ahead of these ever changing and emerging cybersecurity threats? Yeah, I can uh, I can start and then people jump in. I think there's a couple of vectors that uh, we'll continue to collaborate on. You know, first we talked about hardware resistant security helping shrink the attack surface. That'll continue to be uh, a big theme, right? As we need to continue to go drive uh, a layered approach to security below the OS, above the OS, hardware and software to really reduce that uh, attack surface. Second, you'll see new tools and capabilities. Think about uh, artificial intelligence. That's a big uh, new technology paradigm that is going to also come into the space that can be leveraged uh, uh, by CrowdStrike to go provide increasing levels of threat detection response, uh, utilizing all this great telemetry and data that the product is generating in terms of uh, how it's being used. I would add to Rahul's comment that um, services is a great area for collaboration that we're looking towards uh, in the future. Collaborating on helping customers operationalize cybersecurity, helping them uh, benefit from having a SOC. Um, these are areas where we can bring best of breed capabilities from both sides to help again meet customers where they are. So we're going to collaborate more on the technology. We also are going to continue collaborating and refining the go-to-market and, and enhancing the overall customer experience of helping customers operationalize cybersecurity. Guys, guys, great job today. Thank you for keeping the little guys safe. Um, a couple of big companies uh, doing, doing your part. Really appreciate your time. Thanks a lot, Dave. Take care. Okay, keep it right there for more conversations live and on demand from our Palo Alto studio. You're watching Navigating the Road to Cyber Resiliency, a summit to educate and inspire companies to improve their cyber defenses. We'll be right back. <laughs>